Good evening. This is the August sales meeting. I'm going to go ahead and get these off. We've got a small party. We have school starting back this week and next week and everybody's going crazy. So, but I've got my first in sales is Jennifer Stokowski. I figured Michael liked that. Yes, he will. And yeah, here yeah. you go. I mean, they're kind of neat. In fact, I thought mm -hmm. I could get one and I thought, hell, I don't cook. I really like that one. I thought, she's you know, they fit right in the sink. I thought they were really neat, but I thought, I, I don't I mean, I guess that would be, I don't know. It's going to be awesome. Okay, I don't know anything about cooking. Don't really want to know about cooking. <laughs> uh, all right, so what do we have going on now? We're going to have, um, when I went to market last month, uh, look at this. I don't know, I just think he's adorable. Is that but, before or after you sat in Ron Jeremy's lap? That was, this was after I sat in Ron Jeremy's lap. This was <laughs> the next day. Then his name is... In fact, I have got to get, he's got three speeds. I think that's hysterical. <laughs> and I got pictures I need to put on the internet of me and they got to have a bobblehead, a big one that they had that they were taking pictures of. Should we uh, sell that or is it I don't know, I thought about it would be fun to sell. No, that I would think be. it'd be good for a, 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 to sell. I think, uh -huh. I think so too. I think it's hysterical. Okay. Uh -huh. And actually, I, I'll just try, I guess, I'll try my body. This is a good vibrator. See how well it works. All right. I'm, and this week, I'm going to go ahead and order the remote control bullets. I went to market. Um, there's nobody else that's got one out there. Um, there's another company I talked to yesterday. They've got one, but it's got those funky ass batteries. And I just, those batteries make me crazy when they get some of these funky batteries because they're too hard to replace. So in this one, takes the uh and it's small enough and it takes the uh button batteries in here which are easy to come by and but by the way you have got to take the batteries out or it will short out okay and then this one takes a special battery but you can unscrew that but as long as you take the batteries out of the bullet you will have so it that made. one doesn't come with a little thing wrapped around the batteries what what usually it has a piece of paper or plastic wrapped mm -hmm. around the batteries mm -hmm. apparently not not in here that must be why it, you have to take the batteries out no, it's not. It's just that a lot of times they just don't. Um, does it have anything in there? Yes, it's got something in there. Oh. But no, it's but no, it's not that. It's just oh. they're remote control, so they're interconnected. So even though you turn them off, they're never off oh. all the way, unless you get the. On this particular one, you take the batteries out. The ones that we had um, that they've re, that they're redesigning, but they won't be out till November. Um, I forgot to put lipstick on. Lord Jesus. Um, it's just a matter of they're redesigning them and they're going to be easier to take the batteries out. But there again, you have to do a funky ass battery. That's the whole thing about it. So, but That's this the one doesn't where have the, the, the battery in the ring, right? It's not replaceable. Yeah. yeah, that was a bad design there. Mm -hmm. Well, they just weren't even, they didn't think they'd have any issues with. But, and if you don't turn even on that one, if you don't turn it like off, mm -hmm. you still have it'll run down the battery in the ring. Mm hmm. All right, so these are our first. Um, and then we're going to have anniversaries with Rosemary Hernandez. Jennifer, your anniversary is this month. Dana, your anniversary is this month. Yay. Casey Triplett, Jackie Kenny, and Cassandra Ellis. But Cassandra's not here. And birthdays, we have Tori McGee and Jessica Barnes. And um, which I think we're going to talk about recruiting. I cannot get my glasses adjusted to see tonight, though. They're making me crazy. It's very, it's real irritating when I can't. All these darn things and sometimes my eyes have been going all day so working so all right what else um i got samples which we're not going to include all y'all in the samples we'll just do them here to after we get through the meeting um in which lube we're going to add another flavor to our lubes what we're talking about doing that ought to be interesting and uh da -da -da. oh um what i did is there was a thing that I've been getting from this guy, and I can't think of his name, I should be able to give him credit. He writes, and he's got a book out, A Thousand Questions to Ask Your Mate. So what I did is for shits and grounds, I've been, you got like 30, 33 and free, and I thought, this is pretty cool, like, is it ever appropriate for someone to express anger in a physical way, if so, when and how? Oh, well, you're having sex and you're at the bondage club, I guess. I don't know, would that be appropriate? 
when you're sick and feeling poorly, do you like to be alone or do you like to be pampered and have someone close to your side most of the time? But I mean, I thought there were really good questions that would be a real good thing, even if you, I want to send them out there to my customers to do a mass email, because I was like, this would be fun. This would be an excuse to put out there and um, just something to send out. It'd be a real good blogging thing. So, and blogging is real important, y'all. I'm telling you, you know, you want to send things out. You want to talk to your customer base. Um, I got, I've been doing a couple things behind the scenes and messaging on Facebook and I've gotten a couple parties off it. Jennifer's been doing the same thing. She's gotten a few parties off it. So if you want your business to do, you got to put effort into it. And I don't know how to explain that to people. I think that's where it comes in. Right here, when Susie says, right in here, where was it? I just saw that about, um, let me be frank. Most consultants absolutely suck at being their own boss. They either don't take their business seriously or they don't hold themselves in very highest expectations for their own performance. Or they are too hard on themselves and they think they're, they're never good enough to be a leader. Either one of these scenarios aren't going to help you build your organization. So, I was reading her on coaching and, um, because that's the truth. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's really funny how few people can work for themselves, but you've got to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. um, like one of the articles here on page two is, do you often find yourself attracting more things you don't want instead of things you want? And one of the things it says is get clear on what you really want, attract a prosperous mindset, remove your negative beliefs, be open and receiving and take action. And then it's got all the stuff that goes with it. But um, that's just all there is to it. If you don't see yourself doing it, and since I've got my energy back in my business, my parties are picking back up, and I mean, I'm getting there, the phones are ringing, I'm like, Yes, thank you. They're not ringing a lot. I mean, my customers are calling me, but I mark it. I do something just like it. Thank you, Dana. That cute little thing, Woody and Buzz. Speaking of which, I was thinking about doing the flea market because that would be a good way. Because, you know, a lot of my customers, that's where I got them was the flea market. Flea market. It's a good thing. And I'm getting repeat parties off of them now from Facebook, but they originated mm -hmm. from the flea market. It'd be a good thing to get some of the other girls. I mean, I give cards out. I can't tell you how many business cards I give out. I mean, I go places, I'll just be talking to somebody, I hand them a business card. I have found you can find a way to work it in and hand somebody a business oh, card. Okay. But I was sitting in Subway, waiting to pay for my food, and the lady and her son was there. She was paying for her stuff, and I had my wallet open, yeah. which has cards in, and I said, I think you need this, and handed it to her. She said, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> right, I mean, it's thank just... Thank you again on the way out. Yeah, so... I gave cards away at J.C. Penney's the other day. I mean, I just... and I mean, I need to remember more to give cards. We have uh, Magic Mike coming up. we got to get that discussed, what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And I need somebody to remind me to call down there. Again, I left her a message. She's probably pissed that we didn't buy tickets. But, I mean, I just... I honestly just didn't think that between now and the 28th and 29th, the weather Thursday and Friday, that every damn ticket for two shows would be sold. I couldn't believe the first believe showing was not as sold out. I mean, we bought our tickets well, the day this, no, 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 I'm no, talking no. about the show, though. I would have thought the, the, the movie. Oh, well, no, I ain't worried about the movie. No, this is... I know, yeah, but I couldn't believe strippers. that it wasn't. Mm -mm, I can see that. Wow. I can see that, but I never dreamed that they would be sold out down there already. And I don't know how many it holds, and we got to find that out. And then Thursday night will be easy. And actually, I think it's going to be easier for us to do this. And girls, y'all, some of y'all that are here tonight, we're going to need help. Um, and it's going to be real good to give out, just to hand get there at 7. The doors open at 7. So maybe get there, you know, a little before 7. And just literally, we'll just hand cards out. And I need to come up with something that we can pass out. Hi, sweet boy. But I need to know about how many people's going to be there. And I've, it's, I've just been so busy. I was, um, my outlook crashed on Friday afternoon. And I was on the phone Friday evening, but all day, literally 8 to 12 on, I mean, 8 to 6 on Saturday. It still wasn't working. And Sunday morning, they finally got it back up. And for those that don't, it was the add-ons. There's something you got add-ons, like I've got AVG, protective um, spyware. That was an add-on. They could, they took off. They took off all these add-ons. So everything sped up. And thank you, God, because I've only got how many contacts? And I had just taken off, but fourth, I had just deleted 4,000 emails the week before. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's, we got a lot of emails. So anyway, um, but yeah, so we need everybody that's watching this. We need Magic Mike, and y'all remind me because I'm I was just, thinking about doing the little coupon thing and stapling it to my card like I did at the flea market. You know, book a party, you get a, you know, free bullet, free something. Oh, that'd be a good idea. We'll have to, let's kick back and figure out, do we want to... See, it's if really I, easy because that way you know you maybe that and a, maybe it. that and a penis uh, a uh, pencil um a, you know a little penis eraser or something cute that they could put how about giving everybody penis straws that's a lot of penis straws well i mean probably about 600 both nights i mean yeah it's a lot but who are they going to remember and especially if we take an um somehow connect a little piece of paper on it with our name and phone number. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of something, you know, that way they'll be in there and they'll be thinking about it. Of course, you know, we're probably going to have competition in there too. Uh, really, you think? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the lady they won't be coming set. to hand out cards and well, stuff? Well, we can't go in because we don't have tickets. Uh, yes. But uh, they're not going to give us a hard time in the parking lot? Who gives a shit? We'll I'm just wondering. No, 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 we got this. I had girls. Come on, let's have some confidence. This is when I'm a follower. Yes. <laughs> I just like to I be a leader. I just like this to try to follow my basis and, you know, ask the questions, what if, and that way, yeah, well, I when you're there, too, but... you don't have as many surprises. No, I don't think we'll have any issues. I wish we could find some cheap huggies. But what, I love huggies. But what we're going to do, though, what I do need, though, is to get there early enough. Somebody drop me off early. Mm -hmm. Go down there. I'll go down there in the next week and find out where I can get the van parked. Since mine has got more lettering all over it than y'all's do. And get it right there at the front door where everybody sees it for two nights. So I'll need to get help on that one. But we'll look at that. All right. One of the things, and I've talked about this, too, um, is reframing the when somebody says, oh, what do you do? Reframing how you say it. So because I was reading an article, y'all know I have to read and listen to stuff all day. I'm telling y'all, I was listening to Norman Vincent Peale while I was working out today. I listened to Norman Vincent Peale while I worked out yesterday. I mean, you just, there is really no better person really to listen to than Norman Vincent Peale. He's very spiritual. He's very motivated. Um, everything he says is the truth. And he came from the 20s. Um, but anyway, one of the things it says is you want people to ask you a question. So it's what they're saying, like when somebody says something, you want to, um, you want a question that has meaning, uh, but all the questions have meaning. What you say, how you stand makes a difference. Stand there with your shoulders up. Don't slump shoulder. I don't know why people understand slump shoulder. One makes you, when you get to be an old fucker. Makes you damn, you're gonna have that damn knot in your back. That's why so many people have that because they don't hold their shoulders up. Um, and then it just gets worse and it gets worse. No, thank you. Then fake tatas out. Well, it makes your heart, it makes your back hurt too. Well, it makes your it makes your stomach muscles a lot stronger. Yeah. Much stronger. I mean, which is a good thing. That's like I was telling Dana about. I was at Kroger one time, and I bought these little things because I just felt so sorry for the boy. You know, he's one of these, you're going to get your free gift, come over here. You know, they want to demonstrate something. So they get the free gift, and everybody runs over there to get the free gift. And once they get it, and he starts talking, they, one by one, they start walking off and walking off and walking off. And every time somebody would walk off, a little bit further down his head would go. And I just felt so sorry for him. And it wasn't like it wasn't something that I wouldn't have been interested in anyway. It was those little um, heat and pad things that you reuse you hit a little thing and it's a chemical reaction and makes yeah. it heat up and everything and it was a great price and all that good stuff and everything but i was like damn hey well this poor little boy's gonna make a living too well that now where i went the last time i got the free gift at sam's which is a really nice knife mm -hmm. but i went on the internet while i was standing there listening to him and found that that had complaints so but anyway it was he didn't give it till after he gave his presentation let's see and that might have been something yeah. that he should have, you know, they yeah. should have told him to do. Because, I mean, he was early 20s. And literally, by the end of the presentation, there was three of us standing there. Mm -mm. I bought one and, and another guy bought two of them. But he was just like this. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't even look up when he was talking. He was just so... Well, when they so. can't, they, they should have trained him. That, yeah. That's the thing about it. And that's like with you reps, y'all need to go to parties with us. I mean, we are all trained, and we'll take you with us. We don't have any issues working with anybody. 
But you've got to be volunteering and wanting to go. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to beg you. And people say, well, you know, you'll do my party. No, because I make a living doing this too. So you, got, nobody did parties for me. I had to do them. I was given a couple of parties. Well, not only that, but you can just learn so much. I mean, work in the flea market. 80%, I'm going to say 80% of what I learned, I learned from listening to Marla at the flea market. I, I, I see at Southern Women's Show and listening to, I went with Beth and I listened to her and listened to people talk at the sales meetings. That's the only way you're going to learn. And well, you, you, no. you can relax and have a good time once you know the product. Well, I mean, you're I You're not did. stressing over it. I learned from having parties. And I learned from Every party time. I learned something well, you, you did. Well, and you, learned, you, learned, and you know what? You know how much I learned so much faster than y'all did? I took the time to record it and come back and transcribe it. No, I didn't need anybody to babysit me. I could walk, talk, and snort every product. It took me eight hours, but I knew the products probably better than the company knew them. I mean, and that's another thing is, you know, if you will take, why don't people want to put energy in? You want to make money, but you don't want to put energy into what it takes to make the money. I mean, I've got a project going now. My sister's handling it for me. She knows I got too much on my plate, so she, but she's just as happy because this way she gets to be Chief Honcho, and I'm all happy about that. I'm, you know, micromanage, hell no. Unfortunately, that's the problem with the world today. Everybody just wants a paycheck. They want to come in, mm -hmm. punch a clock. Mm -hmm. They don't really want to do anything, so they don't care. So that's why you get crappy customer service. Well, you're right, because, I mean, I've made a damn good living doing these parties. I can't complain everything that's in here. It's all been paid for by the whole party company. Quite frankly, I mean, there's a little work involved. Yeah. But, but you know, it not like what, you know. It's not like going I mean, to not, not like my full-time job. Yeah, <laughs> I, cleared, I cleared over $500 this weekend off of two parties. Mm -hmm. Hell, I've cleared that over just one party. Right. Well, you I'm know, four yeah. hours of a couple of drinks, talk a little smack. Having fun. I mean, the real work is just driving there and lugging your stuff in and out. That's not even the real work because I can watch a Netflix movie there on my phone. <laughs> which, by the way, somehow I've already run over my time. They're telling me. All right, what are you going to get from Monte Coupons? All right, we're going to reduce the price of the tattoos. They've offered to give us a good deal. I saw the owner of the company in market. She's real sweet. She's so nice. They're from Canada. And she told me what she sell, sell the tattoos for, so I'm thinking let's just go, you know, because everybody likes to wear tats, and we have the ones for the back and all of that. That We have four different sets, so you're going to get those if you attended the meeting or you listen, if you're out of the area and you listen to the movie. China Shrink Cream, we've got a limit of two. G-Spot Stimulating Gel Trial Size, limit of four, and a cake pan, too. So, mm -hmm. uh, we went over, remember last month, the... Um, up and coming has been discontinued. Um, I hate that. We got in a new lube that I like it, but it just tastes terrible. It's um, a silicone water base. So I don't, I'm assuming it would work really well for sex. contradiction in terms, isn't it? Well, silicone, well, no, it's not for oral sex, but most of the stuff like our original that we sell, water base, doesn't taste bad at all. It doesn't have a, you know, you almost you just said it. it was a silicone water This base. is a silicone water base. And I thought, okay, this is going to be, it's, they, they're making it now. I, it's I a really silicone know. water base. I don't know how they do it. I don't, I'm just I trying mean, to figure out how we would, you know, what would be the best way to promote it. Promote it and sell it. I mean, like the silicone leave, I told them, yeah. you know, that's for water that's sports. Or well, microwave. this is supposed to keep going a little bit longer. And I, I mean, I'm going to have. In to, water? Well, no, just. It's, no, it's a silicone water base. No, it's just supposed to go longer because right now, with most all the lubes, they um, they took out the. Um, I can see it. I can see it. I can see Whatever it. Whatever it was. Yeah, they took sleep. it out. That made it glycerin. Mm -hmm. And the issue with glycerin is, but that's what also makes it real sticky. Is glycerin can make it real sticky. So there's been an issue because everybody's wanting to go glycerin free, which we have some of our lubes do have glycerin in them, but I mean really come on but the thing is this is supposed to be by the company that we get our lube from and anyway but they they have a really big gay line of products too they have, because they sell a lot through. and the guy that owns the company now well he does own the company he just bought out one of the other companies we were buying from and they're actually manufacturing so lubes and edibles um but he's just straight as he can be he's very married 
got a great product. And so I'm a real nice guy, great big guy. He could step on me. All right. So I was laughing about that. Okay, what else we have in here? I want to kind of go over. Um, I'm going to keep it simple. Yeah, we got to start recruiting more. Um, and I mean, the whole thing is what you think. I put recruiting basics in here too, but I'm going to. I hand my card basically trying to recruit, especially people at Walmart. They can't stand their job. Right. Uh, fast food girl people, you know, when I'm handing in my money and going through the drive through I stopped to get gas at Kroger the other week. Now, I hadn't heard from her, but I think I'm going to drive by there and see if she's still there. She was out there. I mean, I mean she's hustling. Trying to sell this, you know, sell this stuff. They go up there and they show you this cleaning product, whatever kind of thing. Oh, it's hard work. That's yeah. hard work. And, I, and so, I, you know, I'm like, here's an alternative. You can make more money doing this and you're sitting in an air-conditioned house instead of in triple-digit right. weather out here trying to sell this stuff. The main issue I find with people is discipline. Yes, I mean, but when they're out there in that hot parking lot, somebody's telling them where they got to go, what exactly. they got to do. Versus when you work like we do, you have to set a schedule and you got to follow the schedule. If I had followed the schedule like so many people, I would never have made it in business. I don't know where I got common sense. Couldn't tell you. Because my dad worked for somebody else, my mother didn't work. So I don't know where I got it, but thank you God all day that I did get that. Because that's one thing I've always been very disciplined. I've been disciplined. Well, some people are just not adults. interested in that kind of hustle either. They're interested in just going and getting making to work. ten bucks an hour and being yeah. happy. Yeah, and, and they're happy with that mm -hmm. because they don't want to put in that extra effort. Well, there's a little risk factor to it, and it some is. people don't like to take a risk. Yeah. No. Well, it takes well, and work. Well, it's like that girl. I told her. I said, you know, well, you wouldn't. She said, well, you know, I have to do this like all the weekends because we do this from so. I said, well, this is nights and weekends anyway, honey. I said I wouldn't uh, tell you to quit your day job. I said, now, eventually you probably would, but I wouldn't tell you to quit your day no. job right now. I did. Well, I didn't have a day job. I went back to college. Got me college education. Yeah. So, I mean, but this did put me through college, and, I mean, I have to work a little. You know, it's now, it's it's easier, and yet it's harder, because I have to know all, so many different website programs now that I've never had to know. I mean, and it takes a lot more work to deal with all that, but at the same time, you know, I, I love it too because I get to learn something different all the time. I'm always learning something new. I'm always just like Outlook. I mean, how many people are going to find out that it's, you have your add-ons in there? And I sent Chris a thing and told him that so that way if he ran into it. So, I mean, it's kind of funny. I get to learn all sorts of different things like Photoshop, like taking the thing you sent me and Beth taught me Photoshop and so I could go in and put the company name it's on it. I need to learn. It's not hard. It's really, It depends. Um, I have a paid for program, um, but GIMP. Is it GIMP? GIMP is free. G I M P. Yeah, and it's Google it, download it. It's like a, it's like a W five yeah, but, but it's not six hundred dollars. Uh, but you, somebody's got to still have to show either yeah. that or go on YouTube. The main thing is filling in a background, changing your image size, filling in the background to kind of match. So when you put all your writing, it doesn't look like you know it's just haphazard put in there. Well, see, I can do that and paint. <laughs> okay, and then put in for girls only whatever you're putting in there and then take the DPI down to 72 so it's easier to be on the website and um, it, it loads a lot faster for people and then just post it out there. It's not hard to do, it's just a matter of doing it. And that's the thing about it. Of course, I was having issues with it with, back a few years ago and I went calling Beth going, What the? You know, 